بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله it was reported that Imam Shafi'i said increase in worship before your responsibilities increase then you won't have time to worship as much and this was in a sayyar Ahabatifillah <clears throat> this great wisdom from the Salaf al-Salih Rahimahumullah Jami'an which shows us the importance of increasing our ibadah to Allah Azza wa Jal before responsibility overcomes us and this reminds me of something very very important and I was reflecting upon this today about those young men and women who maybe are not married and have little or no responsibility except for themselves who want to study and as we've mentioned countless times stemming from the Salaf al -Saleh, stemming from the importance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed upon knowledge and the importance that the Prophet وسلم, placed upon knowledge and that knowledge is a type of ibadah as it w is one of those things which brings you to Jannah as the Salaf used to say Talib al-Ilm, Talib al-Jannah that seek, the one who seeks knowledge or seeking knowledge is seeking paradise and this stems from the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, when he said من سلق طريقا يلتلمسه به علم سهل الله له طريقا للجنة. That whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy easier for him the path of Jannah. Letting us know طالب العلم meaning طالب العلم الشرعي طالب العلم seeking knowledge of the the Deen will bring you uh, closer to Jannah. طالب العلم طالب الجنة seeking knowledge is seeking Jannah. من سلق طريقا يلتلمسه به علم Whoever traverses a path seeking knowledge, Allah will make easier for him Jannah. So one of the ways to make Jannah easier for you, to make Jannah a reality for you, bi idnillah, is through knowledge. That also affirms for us that knowledge, al ilm huwa ibadah. That knowledge is ibadah. Knowledge is ibadah. Seeking knowledge is ibadah. It's a form of ibadah. And as the ulama mentioned, it's a type of jihad. So strive to gain as much as you can while you have little responsibility. So my advice, even in these times of turmoil and struggle and strife and fitna everywhere, that those who are in the UK, those young men and women, those young men and women who are in France, those young men and women who are in Sweden, those young men and women who are in the, U, uh, the U.S., those young men and women in Canada, and wherever they may be, go to one of the Muslim lands and seek knowledge, if you're able to do so. Or better yet, sacrifice your wealth, your property, and everything you can to go seek some knowledge. Go to, if you can come to Saudi Arabia, come to Saudi Arabia. If you can come as just a student, not as a worker, and doing talab al ilm even though that's khair kathir. But if you're young and you don't have the responsibility, go where you can make tafarra, because this is going to be the most powerful and important time of your life to seek knowledge, is when you're young and you have little responsibilities and you can devote your time fully to knowledge, not just part-time. Some of us are, don't have that blessed opportunity. I still have a desire. I still want to seek a lot more knowledge. I want to. I desire it. But my family size, my family responsibility is something that uh, prohibits me or inhibits me from doing the kind of talib al-ilm I would love to. But perhaps my children, but perhaps my brothers and sisters who we can give advice to who can go. So my advice is to, to use your time wisely and strive to do that ibadah. Because while your responsibility is, is little, you have more than ample opportunity. Strive, struggle, attain the knowledge. As Shaykh Namuq bin Hadi al Wadi, Rahimullah Ta'ala, used to say, Talib al-Ilm la lam yet bi rahat al 
that seeking knowledge doesn't come by having a rested body. And this, this is a statement of the Salaf. But this is where I first heard it, showing us the Salafiyyah of that great Imam. So Ahabatifillah, my advice to myself and my brothers and sisters is while your responsibilities are few, fulfill it with knowledge and ibadah, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. While you have health, while you have wealth, while you have whatever you have of those things which are desired, as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, those things which are desired, the asiha uh, wa farag, that, uh, that uh, your health and, your, and free time are two things that everyone desires, but many people waste it. So don't waste your time and don't waste your health. And not to drag it on, but I know brothers that are talib al-ilm, that now their health, you know, the qadr has, has, has overcome them, and they're stricken with health, even younger in age than myself, bedridden. But they still read and do talib al-ilm as best as they can. So while you have health, while you have ability, while you have time, atlab al-ilm, go do this great act of ibadah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Ali wa sahbihi wa sallam.